Meditation, the act of sitting down and breathing rhythmically until you gain superpowers that allow you to travel through time and space as well as metamorphosize into the animal of your choosing at will. It's morphing time! Wait, I may have got that wrong. Okay, maybe I was a bit off. Apparently meditation is a practice where an individual uses techniques such as mindfulness or focusing the mind on a particular object, thought or activity to train attention and awareness and achieve a mentally clear and emotionally calm and stable state. According to Wikipedia that is, which of course has never got anything wrong. Now although that might be a rather crude definition, I'm too lazy to do more research than that. And the definition helps highlight what I want to achieve, which is mental clarity and an emotionally calm and stable state. You see, last year, for reasons that aren't immediately apparent, there were often moments I found myself stressed, anxious, and generally pissed off. In other words, anything other than emotionally calm and stable. Now, as I said in a recent video, if last year has taught us anything, is that you can't control what happens to you, but you can control how you react to it. Now, unfortunately, a global pandemic pandemic doesn't know the difference between 2020 and 2021, so if I want this year to be better than last, it's down to me to make it so. I recognise that the biggest obstacle to my own happiness was often stress and anxiety. Now I don't want to overstate this, I'm generally quite an optimistic, upbeat guy, but if I want to make sure that this year is a good year, then surely implementing a practice that can help manage or maybe even mitigate any stress or anxiety will surely put me well on my way to making sure this year is better than last. So I decided that starting on the 1st of January I was going to meditate at least once a day every day for an entire month in the hope that I could learn a useful tool I can take into the rest of the year. Failing that I'd have a video that would make at least £8 on AdSense so win-win. This is how it went. So it's the first day of 2021, it's the 1st of January and it's the first day of my month-long meditation challenge. Um, so I've come into this room because it's quiet and uh, probably the best conditions for me actually doing the meditation, but I've just realized that um, I do not know how to meditate. I haven't, funnily enough, given meditation much thought, which I suppose is the point. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so um, better figure that out. Right, so it seems like there's dozens of ways to do this. So the, the most common thing seems to be to just focus on your breathing. And I think that means not necessarily controlling your breathing, but just like focusing on how it feels, you know, the inhale and the exhale and the, and the little gap between those two things. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, there was a lot of different ideas about how you're supposed to sit down and how you're supposed to um, have your feet and your hands um, but because it's my first time I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna lie on the sofa um, and try not move around and uh, I, I don't really know how long to do it for there was there was all sorts of different times on there so I think I'm just gonna set an alarm on my phone for 10 minutes <clears throat> You know, I don't think I was very good at that, but the time passed a lot quicker than I thought it would. I, I thought it would actually take quite a while for that 10 minutes to pass. I did concentrate on my breaths, but I could only do it for like a handful of breaths and then my mind would just wander off. At one point I started thinking I'm at a disadvantage because I'm filming this, so I'm naturally going to be thinking about filming it and what I'm gonna to say to the camera. And then I thought, oh, that's good. You should say that to the camera. And then I realized, no, I, I shouldn't be thinking any of this. So it was really, you know, <laughs> it got really meta, <laughs> my meditation and me talking to you now. Um, I'm not sure how relaxed I feel now because as soon as I've come out of it, I've pushed record and started talking. So that, that might be a mistake. Maybe tomorrow I will 
meditate and then give it a gap and then speak to the camera so that I'm not so aware that the camera's there. On to tomorrow. So just done my meditation um, and I'm, I'm still struggling to like focus on my breaths for more than about four or five breaths. After that, I sort of find myself like thinking about different things like when I was lying on the floor just then and my head was near the radiator and, and I suddenly became very aware that my, my head was warmer than my feet and then I was thinking about that, which I suppose isn't, a, you know, a bad thing to be thinking about, but, you know, I just kept having these little things take me out of the moment, you know, random itches like yesterday, um, thoughts about how I was going to do this video, um, which kind of came and went. Uh, and I definitely feel different pre and post meditation, whereas yesterday I'm not entirely sure I felt that different. But the problem is it's a Saturday and it's a day which has been quite a relaxed day anyway. So I went into the meditation feeling quite relaxed already. So I don't know if I feel more relaxed for having meditated. In fact, I just sort of feel when I finished my meditation, I sat up. Uh, and took a moment to sort of just sit there before I did anything else to just sort of try and reflect on how I was feeling and, and in conclusion I, I was just feeling a bit out of it and I, I still kind of am. I struggled today. Um, I tried sitting on the floor cross-legged because um, I'd been looking at things online and a lot of people had said that it was a really good way of, of helping you feel grounded. But f I'd, for some reason I'd, I just forgot how to sit like my back started aching and my neck started aching and then I started getting like a pulse up and down my back and it was really it really felt like the the 10 minute meditation was really dragging so then I thought oh maybe I've got the the clock wrong and I I, I looked at the clock and I still had two and a half minutes to go so then I, I laid down for the last two and a half minutes but then the sound of the dishwasher finishing in the other room went off and it just completely brought me out of the moment and I just went, right, okay, well, that's a sign that I should stop. I'm not sure that today would count as a success. So I did my fifth meditation today um, and I didn't want to focus too much on the meditation itself. Um, I, I did it sat up again, but this time on the sofa, but with my feet on the ground um, and it was way better than when I tried to just sit on the floor yesterday. Um, so that was that was a success. But the thing I, I wanted to sort of document is that today I am in a really good mood, like an exceptionally good mood. Um, and that is despite the fact that here in the UK, they announced another national lockdown yesterday. So in, in theory, I should actually probably be in not a great mood at all. But, but actually, I've been sort of on a a bit of a high all day. Now, I think it would be unrealistic to say that that four days of, of really muddled meditation had got me to the point where I was feeling that that good. Um, I think it was probably a mixture of things. I slept well last night. I went for a run this morning and it's always a good way to start the day. Um, and, you know, some sometimes you, you're just in a good mood. So uh, I don't want to say, oh, I, I'm meditating and, and all of a sudden I'm in a good mood. But it but it potentially has brought a sort of calmness. D to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know entirely, but it, it felt significant enough for me to, to turn on the camera and say something. So I th I'm quite happy with how this experiment is going so far. So one of the things that a lot of people do when they're meditating is they use an app to help them. And I've been sort of resisting this, mostly because I personally think that someone talking to me might actually take me out of the moment. Um, so I wanted to see if I could figure it out myself, see if I could get into the right mindset, but I keep having sort of varied responses. Like one day I think, right, I've cracked that. I feel quite relaxed and I, I managed to focus on, on my breathing. And in other days, like a couple of nights ago, I, I, I just couldn't switch off. I just kept thinking about other things and I actually gave up the other night, 30 seconds before the timer went off because I, I just thought, well, I'm not getting anything from this. So with that in mind, I am going to try an app and this isn't sponsored. Charlie gets Headspace free with her work. Uh, and so she's let me log into her account. So I'm going to try Headspace out. They've got a, a couple of um, basic activities you can do. So I'm gonna give those basic activities a go. I'm going to leave the camera recording so that you get a sense of, of what's going on. 
but I'm not going to talk to the camera right afterwards because otherwise I know I'll be distracted and I'll start thinking about what I'm going to say to the camera. Hi. So I take it all back. Having the voice there helps a lot. I, I don't know why I resisted it so much because actually having someone talk through it was really helpful. And whenever I did drift off, because you know, I think that's only natural, your mind does do that. It was nice to have that voice to bring me back to what I was supposed to be doing. So um, yeah, <laughs> there we go, that's me shown. Uh, I'll be using the app from now on, I think. Now obviously different things work for different people, but this was a real turning point for me. Meditation became a lot easier with the use of the app, and I was getting way more comfortable with the whole process. As I'm sure you can probably see, it's a, a really lovely sunny day today. It's cold, but it's sunny, so I decided to try and come outside today to do my meditation. Um, I had it in my head that being outside, being in the sun would be a good thing. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, let's see what uh, meditating in the sun is like. Well, that was lovely. I, I feel so relaxed right now. I can actually feel it when I'm trying to speak. I'm, I'm trying to put a bit of extra energy into this because I know I'm, I'm filming this and this is something that I'm gonna be editing back later. And I know that if I'm talking all sort of wistfully like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate it. But yeah, I feel very calm and relaxed right now. Lovely to be outside as well. The only problem with it is that there was lots of noise distractions, you know, cars going past, people walking down the road that, that took me out of it. But then I would quickly go straight back into it, so it wasn't it wasn't that much of a problem really. Definitely gonna rain for the next three weeks now, but you know, if it doesn't, I'll do this again. It did. It's uh, just gone 10.30 in the evening. Um, and I was just about to go to bed and I remembered that I hadn't done my meditation and the reason I'm turning on the camera and bringing this up is because this has happened a few times in the challenge now where even though I always feel good after the meditation it feels like a chore way more so than any of my other challenges which is a bit bizarre. Um, I think because it only sort of takes 10 minutes, I keep thinking I can do that later, I can do that later, I can do that later. And then it gets to the point where I'm going to bed and I haven't done it and it feels like something I have to do. And I'll be honest with you, I, it's, it's a bit annoying because the quality of my meditation just before I go to bed is, is, is always worse. Uh, I think I'm just too tired to do it properly. I know this might sound like an obvious solution, but my solution to this from this point was to schedule my meditation first thing. And from this point on, the challenge went mostly without a hitch. But I just wanna share with you some of my thoughts from day 29. I was feeling quite fed up today. Not for any reason in particular, other than I just think, you know, fed up of lockdown, fed up of not going out, fed up of not seeing anyone, you know, the same things that everyone is fed up about. So I thought I would do my meditation um, to try and come out of that feeling. And I think perhaps what I learned today was to not have my expectations too high about what meditation can achieve because actually I, I've come out the other side feeling slightly better, but I don't think I'm good enough at it yet. Um, which is part of the problem. So I'm still feeling kind of fed up, really. And the other thing is, I think is maybe I, I might have outgrown the Headspace app, or at least I'm not listening to the right thing on there yet, and I need to figure that out because the guy on the app was just starting to irritate me today. So they'll like, be like, and now just scan down the body evenly, trying not to focus too much on one part of the body, just letting the whole, you know, like just pauses where you think, right, okay, I can get on with it. And then it would just wind me up. Uh, probably just means that I'm not <laughs> quite in the right mindset to actually try it. Or maybe it means that uh, I'm just still not very good at it, which is fine. I don't expect to be good at it after 29 days. These things take practice. Maybe your expectations shouldn't be too high when going into a meditation and you shouldn't be too hard on yourself 
if you don't feel like it was successful. Because some days you're just fed up. You're just fed up. It's as simple as that. I think I made a video about that last year called Fed Up. Now this challenge was a weird one for me in that I could actually tell what the benefit of something like this would be, you know, in terms of being able to manage stress and anxiety. And at points I felt the benefit of it, but at the same time it felt like a chore, you know, I'd often put it off until the evening and there were days where I did it but I felt like it was hard work and then I discovered the Headspace app which made it a lot easier but then I sort of went full circle with that and then started to get a bit annoyed by that and I think the thing that I need to remind myself is that it's actually really hard to master meditation. It's not something that you can expect to get right within 30 days. It's something that requires sort of hard work and something for you to really practice it. And I think that's the main thing, to practice it. So I have actually continued to do this after the challenge. And now that I'm not doing the challenge, I feel less sort of like it's a chore. I don't know if my mind was letting me down there. What I can say is I can really see the benefit of it. I think that trying something like this for 30 days and seeing if it's something that you can take moving forward is a, is a really good idea and something that I would highly recommend to anyone. But you know, the other thing I'd like to say is that after you've got to manage your expectations, you know, meditation can help, but it's not going to fix any sort of stress or anxiety or any problems that you may have instantly. And I think anyone who goes into this expecting to see instant results will be disappointed. It's something, like I say, that clearly takes a lot of hard work and practice. But it's something that I'm going to try and work hard on and practice moving forward. So from that point of view, I think the challenge has been a success. I don't know. What did you think of it? Be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. Be sure to like this video if you like it, dislike it if you don't. And of course, as always, if you're new to the channel, this might come as a bit of a surprise. But if you're not new to the channel, you'll already be expecting it. Piss off. The boy John, the boy John. Having fun? I don't know what else to do with meditation, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs>